Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com. Today I'm going to show you what a dual impedance digital multimeter is. This is my Fluke 117 True RMS digital multimeter, and it is dual impedance. Uh, impedance is the resistance of an electrical circuit to alternating current. This is the Auto V Low Z setting. Auto V is an amazing setting where you can put your leads across a positive and negative in a DC circuit and it will automatically sense that it's DC and give you a DC reading or you can put it across the hot and neutral of an AC circuit and it will automatically give you an AC reading. It just gives you the voltage. It's a, just an amazing setting. But that's not the subject of this video. The subject is the low Z setting. Z stands for impedance. So this is your lower Z setting and this one and watch what happens to the voltage when I switch it. This is a live circuit by the way. Now it's 11.42 volts. You see I have the red lead hooked up to a live hot black wire and I have the black lead hooked up to a, just to a metal box. The metal box isn't grounded or anything. It's just on a box and it, it gives you 11.3 volts. This is actual voltage but commonly we call this a ghost voltage. You take it off and you get a ghost voltage of 5.9 volts. You put it back on and you get 12.4 volts. So what happened there? The metal box is providing a tiny bit of ground. That's what happens. And that was the point I was making in the previous video is that just a regular metal box that isn't bonded to the grounding system of the house doesn't provide a ground for your electrical wiring but it actually does provide just a tiny bit so I wanted to demonstrate that in order to demonstrate it, I had to have it in this setting the high impedance setting if I would have put it in the low impedance setting it just would have read zero the metal box does provide a tiny bit of ground as you can see in the more sensitive setting a ghost voltage is the interaction between these different wires you got uh, non-conductive and conductive wires and they interact and create something called capacitance and you get a ghost voltage it's a real actual voltage but for many basic applications it is considered a false reading so you turn it to low Z and it says zero and this is a useful setting for determining if there's electricity in a circuit. So if you want to reduce the possibility of, of a false reading, you put it on low Z. So you have your choice. It's a dual impedance meter. So given the complexity and the variety of testing and troubleshooting requirements for today's electricians. It's good to have a dual impedance meter so that you can do just basic electrical testing all the way to testing of sensitive electrical circuits. I'll put links in my video description for the Fluke 117 True RMS Electrician's Multimeter and I'll put links for the Fluke Alligator Clip Set, Wagwa Lever Nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 connector sizes as well as the multi-pack that includes an organizer, the Fluke soft case. Also, I'll put a link for the Fluke 116, which is the HVAC meter, which is also a dual impedance meter. Another example of a meter that has dual impedance would be the Klein Tools CL450 HVAC meter. And you see here, it actually is reading a little bit of a ghost voltage on the voltage setting and that setting does both AC and DC but if you turn it to the low Z setting you see that it now reads zero and there's no ghost voltage and one interesting thing about this particular meter is not only does it have dual impedance but this one has dual temperature so you can take the temperature of a refrigerator and a freezer for instance simultaneously I'll put a link in my video description for the Klein CL450 as well. Thank you. I hope this video was helpful.